Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Terraria PC and mobile crossplay so you can play with your friends. Firstly, to be able to download and set up this plugin, you'll need a T-Shock server set up. To do that, you'll want to head to the server.pro website. Then you want to head to your server's control panel. There, you want to make sure that the game is set to Terraria, the type is set to T-Shock, and that the version is set to the latest version. When that's done, you'll have to make sure you have a world created. If you don't have a world created, when you try to join your server, you'll get stuck on a loading screen since no world has been made. To prevent this from happening, you'll have to turn on your server, and when it's finished booting, up, head to console. Then, to create a world for your server, all you have to do is follow what's instructed on the screen. For example, if you type N in the command box and enter, it creates a new world. And then, when it asks you what size you want your world to be, if you want a medium sized world, type 2 and press enter. It'll do this for a couple more features so you can customize your server to your liking. However, if you just want your server and world to have the default settings, make sure to turn your server off and when it's fully stopped, head to the files section. Scroll down until you find the terraria.properties file and open it up. There you'll simply want to uncomment a couple commands. That means you'll want to remove the hashtag from line 27, remove the hashtag from line 33, then select the awesome seed text and delete that too. Lastly, remove the hashtag from line 39. When you're done, make sure to save file and then head into console once more. Turn your server back on and that should kickstart the world generation process. Wait for the generation to complete and you'll know the world is created and enabled if it says server started at the bottom. Now that we've set up a server, we'll need to download the crossplay plugin itself. Firstly, you'll have to head to this page. You can do that by clicking the link in the description. When you're there, click on the release text to be redirected to this page. Below assets, you'll see a couple files, but all you need to do is press the crossplay.ddl file for your download to begin. When the download is complete, if it says this type of file can harm your computer, press keep. It's crucial that you do so to proceed with the tutorial. We assure you this file doesn't affect your computer. We we then recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to access it in the next few steps. Back on Server Pro, head to your server and into the file section. There you should open up the server plugins folder. That is where you're going to drag the crossplay.dll file. It should take no time to upload, so when it's done, quickly restart the server to make sure the plugin takes effect. At console, you'll know the plugin is installed properly when it says crossplay has been enabled and whitelisted all the following versions. These are all the versions that are able to join the server. To ensure everything is working as intended, open up your Terraria application and head into the multiplayer section. Click join via IP and when it asks for the server address, head to your server's dashboard and copy the host name. Paste that and click accept. When it asks for the server port, head back and copy the number under port. Paste that in once again and click accept. It'll take a couple seconds to connect you to the server, but when you're in, you'll know the server is working if it says T-Shock for Terraria in the chat box. As you can see, it's now working on PC, so it should also be working for mobile devices. To check if this is the case, you or your friend can open up Terraria on mobile. Head to multiplayer, select the character you want to use, and then click on the online tab. Afterwards, press add and this screen should pop up. For the server IP, make sure you type in the same IP you typed in on PC and do the same for the server port. When that's done, press play and shortly you will be entered into the server. If you got in with no issues, then congrats, you've completed this tutorial. However, if not, make sure to go back and refollow the steps. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.